Hi, this is Joan Benoit Samuelson, long distance runner and marathoner. It's race morning and you're ready to go. Many of you will be running your first marathon. What do I do now, you're asking? The race is actually going to start in a few minutes. What am I going to do? What's my strategy? A lot of marathoners have strategies. Sometimes those strategies pan out and sometimes they don't. Oftentimes when I was running marathons in the most competitive years of my career, the press would always ask me, what's my strategy? How am I going to run this race? What's my plan? And I would always answer, I'm going to run the way I feel. You never know how you're going to feel on race days. So the best plant laid plants can sometimes go amok. So don't put too much emphasis into your race strategy because the day could come up totally differently than what you were expecting. The competition could be totally different. You could be starting further up in the pack or further back in the pack. So don't get too wrapped up in your strategy. Have a goal. Have a goal time. Know what you'd like to run and run that race as best you can knowing that there are going to be some high points over the 26.2 miles and some low points over the 26.2 miles. Oftentimes when runners talk about their strategies and aspirations and goals for a race, they will talk about negative splits. And you might ask, what's a negative split? Well, a negative split is when you run the second half of the race faster than the first half of the race. And this is a good strategy because you don't want to run out of gas, you don't want to hit the wall in the early stages of the race. I often tell people it is much easier toward the end of the race to pass people than it is to be passed. Mentally, it's huge for the runner who's passing runners and not so good for the runner who's being passed. So run your race conservatively, try to run negative splits, try to feel that you can pick up your pace in the later stages of the race. Hold something in the tank. So on race morning, I'll go to the starting line and I'll say, okay, 26.2 miles. Sometimes that could feel a bit daunting. So what I do is back up and say, okay, I'm gonna go out for a 10 mile training run. Instead of thinking 26.2 miles, I'm thinking 10 miles. So the gun goes off and I'm going out for a 10 mile run. Okay, at 10 miles, I say to myself, now I'm running a 10K race. Now I have to change gears and run six miles or 6.2 miles. So I get to the end of that 10K race. I'm more than halfway through the marathon without even really realizing that I've run more than half the marathon distance. I've run the 10 mile training run and I've raced the 10K race. So now what am I going to do with 10 miles to go? Well, I'm feeling pretty good at that 10K race pace, so maybe I'll now run a 5K race. And now I have three more miles behind me, which means I only have a little more than six miles left. Well, why not turn that into a 10K training run over my favorite loop at home, at least in my head? And hey, I'm feeling pretty good, and I only have two miles to go to the finish line. And I see all these people up there ahead of me. And I see this woman in red shorts. And I don't want her finishing ahead of me. So I'm going to go try to catch her. And then I see a guy in a green hat. And I'd like to beat him. So all of a sudden, my 10K training run is turning into more of a race. Because I'm smelling the barn. I'm smelling the finish line. And I'm seeing these runners ahead of me who I really want to catch. So oftentimes, you can use the runners ahead of you to pull you toward the finish line. And this is a really important part of marathon racing. You need to look at the runners ahead of you and try to use them as your guides to the finish line. So in summing up a marathon race day, get to the starting line, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about your training getting into the race. Be excited about running, whether you're running your 100th marathon or your first marathon. Try to break the race distance up into smaller components, whether they be 10 mile, 
components or half marathon, a half marathon component or 5K or 10Ks. Get through it any way you want, realizing some are going to be racing segments, some are going to be training segments. Use the other runners in the field to help you. Sometimes you might be conversing with these runners. Sometimes you might be sharing stories of inspiration. Sometimes you may be using them as moving targets for selfish purposes to propel you to the finish line faster than you might have anticipated with your original goal time. So enjoy the 26.2 miles, but don't think of it as one lump sum. This is Joan Benoit Samuelson. See you on the roads. <laughs>